Hey all, I'm Maddie Makes and welcome to week two of Tour de Vlies. This week I finished spinning up the mixed spring long wool in solid gray. On Monday when we had that rest day, I made up some new bats. So that's show you what I did there. It was kind of fun. Then I spun up some of the new bats and then we hit the road and I hit the hand spindles. So stay with me and I'll show you what I got done this week or last week. <laughs> hey, it's Saturday night, July 6th, and I am working on the singles of this beautiful mixed breed long wool. Uh, see you tomorrow. All right, this is Sunday and I'm finishing spinning this lovely long wool. There's not that much left and I will just chain pie this sucker when we're done and it will make a decent sock type yarn, nice fingering weight or we'll make a gargoyle because it looks like a gargoyle. Ooh, not that close. It looks, it's gargoyle stone color when you hold it here. Yes. This is a Monday the 8th. It is a off day for Tour de Fleece, so a perfect time for me to make a few more bats because heaven forbid there's not enough behind me. Um, and there's so much fiber in front of me. But I thought, um, I really don't want to use the combs right now, that I would just bust up um, a few pleases with the picker, the swing picker, and just make some bats more because I want more of this beautiful fleece that I was spinning. And it's a super fast, easy spin, and I was really enjoying it. So, and it's fairly clean. So let's grab out a few handfuls of this and see if we can make a few bats. So now the question is, do I want to spin just another pure gray bat? Because that was fun. It spun really well. But I still have purple on this. And I have a lot of waste in my drawers. So I have a bunch of little random, can't see in here. Random fibers that I would love to get out of the drawer and start fresh for next year. So, let's use that gray as a base, and then we have all these other fibers, and add to it. So gray, browns, creams, okay, I have grays and oranges in here, let's save this with brown, mix this belt with brown. Aha, not the thread. I have reds and pinks and turquoises and silk bits and yarn scraps and, oh, let's just make a real messy bat. Let's just make a real messy bat. Oh, and a lot more purple. And that pretty much, there's a bag with some tools in there. That pretty much cleaned out that. That's a pretty good view. Let's reduce, reuse, um, I guess, and recycle some of this fiber. So this is a whole bunch of mixed long wool that I used for something else. Maybe it's not long wool. I don't know. It's leftovers from something, and we're going to use it. So this lovely dark purples. I think that's a bit of alpaca. That is a long wool of some sort that's silver shiny but this is all i have the, the, that this should give us some lovely neps and texture along with this so we're also going to do some little blues these are from past videos um and these are some wools from a felting kit because this is all you get of these colors so 
yeah, I didn't need that. So in here, there you go. Um, there's some grays, they're brown tones. I have no idea. That might be Suffolk. But all sorts of random things in here. So let me, we'll run through one thing of the mixed long wool gray. And then I'll break up these little bits and, ooh, that's so pretty. Put them through the swing picker as well. I just put the bag right here. It, okay, you see the leg of it. Perfect. And we just put the floofies down. Remember light floofies. And these floofies can go over here. And I'm just going to do enough till I have enough uh, base so the little pieces don't stick in it. Just seeing some things that need to be broken up a little more. And I ran these through three times last time and it worked out really good. This is already like comb top, so I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can always put it. Since it's already combed. There's some hard bits in here. Not sure if I want all that. No. Don't mind a few nips. So we'll, we'll see what we're going to get here. This might be like a really artsy yarn. There's Icelandic. Short. Okay. Did pretty good separating things up. Maybe a few things left. All right, this is bat number two. I'm going to get it off and then make a bat just with the purple. The purple. And the gray. Which I have over here. Um... And then we'll combine them all together and make, well, hopefully I'll try to get four bats out of this by mixing and matching and running them through like three times. I got all this mohair and I'm running it through the picker real quick. Thought I had the camera on. Guess not. Huge handful. There might be some weird stuff in it. Just pull that out. We're good. We're good. We're not squeamish over here. We do need to tie up our sleeves though. Look at this piece. Totally long. 
little little bit wax coated. Yeah, man. Yeah. Comes apart. Comes apart. We're good. Just run through here to so get cleaned off, please. After getting all that mohair worked up, I turned it with the wool into two bats. And then I have my two really colorful bats using all the waste. I ripped those into four sections and blend it again. And then for the final mix, ripped each of those in half and blend it again until I had four big fluffy vat bats, which I proceeded to spin on Tuesday. There's the lovely yawn from Tuesday and really weird close-ups of my spinning wheel. Oh, it's so pretty. And Wednesday. Oh, yes, it's almost full. And Thursday. Mind you, I only spin in the evenings because, yeah, day job's a thing still. Oh, almost full. And, you know, have to have a little wine sometime. One down, three to go. Sunday morning, we hopped in the car to head towards the coast. And I did some spinning with this beautiful fiber And my Scottish spindles. So please enjoy these lovely two. Well, I do some easy spinning in the car. As always, happy knitting, happy spinning. Create something beautiful, y'all. See you in the next one.